Hey guys, Joe Burnich with CarpetCleaningWebsites.net and Big West Marketing. Today I want to show you guys how to set up Google Analytics and a couple little things you can go and look at that will help you um, kind of keep track of the traffic that's actually going to your website and a couple little cool things you can do. Just some, some information you can check out uh, on a regular basis to get some insights. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a... Uh, a new a brand new Google Analytics account for a local client. It's actually a friend of mine. Um, that has a has a remodeling business here in Missoula. And this is his website here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up Google Analytics for this guy. So what I do is I first go to Google.com and I sign into my Google Plus account or Gmail account any kind of Google account. So first I do, I sign in. So what I'm going to do, put in his Gmail, and then grab the password. Skip that. Okay. So now I'm logged into his, uh, his Gmail slash Google account, whatever you want to call it, Google Plus. Um, and what I want to do is go to, uh, Google, we want to sign up for Google Analytics. So I simply just type in Google oh, Analytics. That's what I search for. Okay? I click on the first link that shows up. And at the top right, it'll say Access Google Analytics. So I'm going to click that button. And it says basically, you know, you sign up, add your code, and then learn about your audience. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click Sign Up. And I'm going to give this account a name. I'm just going to name, give it his business name. And I'm going to do the same for the website name. And then I'm going to grab his URL over here. And I'm going to put that in this little box. Pretty simple, right? The industry, I'm just going to select home and garden. Yeah, they're pretty broad. These industries are pretty broad. So I just choose home and garden, and it's really not critical. Uh, and then I'm going to choose mountain time. That is our time zone. Then click on this blue button at the bottom called Get Tracking ID. So let me click on that. Now they're going to do the little uh, terms of service agreement. And I click on I accept. Wait a minute here. OK. Now, this is what I really need here. This is, this is what I want. I want this code here, where it goes from the word script down to the word script again. This little piece of code, and you don't need to understand what that code means. All you need to, you just need to be able to highlight it like I'm doing right here. So you highlight it, right click, hit copy, and then you simply go into the WordPress dashboard You guys should all have login information for this here. Once you're in the WordPress dashboard, you want to click on Genesis and then go to Theme Settings. So I click on Theme Settings and I want to scroll down to where it says Footer right here and it allows me to put stuff into this box here. It's just this big text box. So I simply just right click and hit Paste. And it should put that exact same piece of code. Once again, I want to check that it starts out with script and ends with script. And that it has these little brackets here. If, if any of that stuff is missing, if one little thing is missing in this whole piece of code, it will not work. Okay? And then I'm going to click Save Settings. Now my Google Analytics, now Google is able to communicate with my website and tell me all kinds of information, all kinds of interesting information on... Um, traffic. Now, when I go back to Google Analytics, let me, it's going to give me that little message the first time. This is the, this is the screen you're going to see when you first log into Analytics after you have, set, have it set up. And this, this part right here where it says all website data, you'll start seeing numbers appear here after 24 to 48 hours. And these numbers are what you really want to be looking at. So what I'm going to do actually is pull up my personal account, 
so that you guys can see what it looks like after it's populated. And I want to show you a couple little key metrics to look at. Access Google Analytics. So I've got uh, four different websites here in, in my Google Analytics account. But the one, the one that I, I primarily study uh, on a monthly basis is my carbocleaningwebsites.net. Okay, and so that's what this is here. And so I'm going to click on all, and you see next to all website data, there's these numbers here. Um, and I'm going to click on that. And it'll tell me, day, it's set to day. You can set it to hourly, weekly, or monthly. But day by day, it'll tell me I got 136 visits, um, you know, last month on a Tuesday, which is pretty high. <laughs> it's not normal. Um, most of the time, you know, it's right in the uh, 40s, 50s. Got a couple 20s in there, a 17. There's a 66. So that will kind of give me an idea of... Uh, what kind of traffic I get on a daily basis. All right, cool. Now, um, what I what else I like to look at is um, particularly on this type of website, which is a national site. I like to look at the geo. So I go to audience, and I go down to geo, and I go to location. And this will tell me, you know, where where people are coming from. So most of them are coming from the United States. Uh, Got some in Canada, some in the UK. That's cool. Why people in Brazil are checking it out, I don't know, but I think that's kind of cool. Philippines, China, uh, might be uh, some kind of hacking hackers checking out my site. <laughs> um, I don't know why else they would be on there. And you got to realize that not all of this is 100% accurate data, not all real people necessarily. Um, a lot of it is just like. Uh, bots and spiders from other search engines or just different kinds of programs checking out your site. Um, Google does a very good job of um, showing, you know, eliminating that kind of that junk data that's not really helpful, um, but some of it still does sneak in there, so uh, just to let you know. Um, and then, you know, if I, if I wanted to uh, zoom in on a state-by-state -state basis, I just click on the country, um, and I can see in which states I'm getting the most hits. I haven't gotten anything from North Dakota or South Dakota or West Virginia, it looks like. But all, it looks like in every other state I'm, I'm getting a few hits here and there for the last month. So that's kind of cool. Uh, interesting data. Now, the other thing that I look, like to look at, there's all kinds of other stuff here. If you really want to get into it, you can dig around. I don't touch any of this other stuff. Uh, maybe mobile once in a while. I'll check and see which ones are coming from mobile, which ones are coming from a desktop. Um, but primarily the one that's very helpful to me is when you go down to acquisition and then you go down to all traffic and then you click on source slash medium. Now what this does is this tells me where my visitors are coming from. So in the last month I had about 1400 visits um, 500 of those came from my Google organic rankings. Okay, so that's good to know. 60% of my traffic came from Google. Um, other stuff, uh, direct means that somebody just actually typed it into um, the browser or they had it saved as a bookmark. Um, I've gotten 41 from Bing, 34 visits from Yahoo. Um, clean facts, I had 17 people check me out. I had an article in there. Um, this other stuff I'm not sure, but it's it's uh, it's probably not too relevant. It's the, these big numbers that I'm looking at, the num the ones that are listed in the, in the top, you know, five. Those are what I'm really uh, checking out. And what this tells me is, um, if Yahoo, for example, this isn't very realistic, but if Yahoo was all of a sudden started to get more traffic, maybe I'll put more time and resource into ranking on Yahoo, or maybe I'll run some Yahoo ads or Bing ads. So. Uh, that's the kind of information I like to see. Or, I, or what if I get a huge drop from my Google Organic all of a sudden? Maybe I, maybe my mobile site all of a sudden stopped ranking so well, so I need to address that. This is the kind of stuff that uh, you know that I look at that you guys can look at as well. So I hope that helps. Um, one thing I do need to mention here on my website: some of you guys have. Um, 
have, it'll say Genesis here, and some will say uh, Catalyst. So the older sites that are about a year and a half old or more will say Catalyst. The newer sites will say Genesis. Um, if you go to Genesis to put the code in, you're going to go to Theme Settings, like I showed before, put it in the footer there. It's a little bit different with Catalyst. If it's Catalyst, you go to Catalyst Core Options. And then you go to Scripts. And uh, you, you would put it into the footer script here. Okay. I uh, just wanted to make sure that you know that there are um, two different themes that we've used over the years. And um, you, you, the place you insert the code is a little bit different on each one. So there you go, Google Analytics. If you have any questions, let us know. But that is the basics of installing Google Analytics and analyzing your traffic. Once again, uh, my name is Joe Burnich. I'm with CarpetCleaningWebsites.net, Big West Marketing. Uh, if you need to give us a call, if you um, are not a current client of ours and you are interested in a website or SEO package, um, please give us a call at 406-493-1881. We offer a free 30-minute consultation. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much.